Tosh! Tosh! Never tell me! I take it much unkindly that thou, Yago, has had my purse, as if the strings were thine, shouldst know of this! Spud, but you'll not hear me! If ever I did dream of such a matter, abhor me! Thou told'st me that thou didst hold him in thy hate! Despise me if I do not. Three great ones of the city, in personal suit to make me his lieutenant, off capped to him. By the faith of man, I know my price. I am worth no worse a place. But he, as loving his own pride and purposes, evades them with a bombast circumstance horribly stuffed with epithets of war, and in conclusion, not suits my mediators. For certes, says he, I've already chose my officer. What was he? Forsooth, a great arithmetician. One Michael Cassio, a Florentine, a fellow almost damned in a fair wife. Never sat a squadron in the field. Well, the division of a battle knows more than a spinster, unless the bookish theoric wherein the togged consuls can propose as masterly as he. Mere prattle without practice is all his soldiership. But he, sir, had the election, and I, of whom his eyes had seen the proof at Rhodes, at Cyprus, and on other grounds, both Christian and heathen must be believed and calmed by debitor and creditor. This countercaster, he in good time, must his lieutenant be. And I, God bless the mark, his more ships. Ensign? I haven't heard would have rather been his hangman. Uh, there's no remedy. Tis the curse of service, preferment goes by letter in affection, and not by old gradation, where each second stood heir to the first. Now, sir, be judge yourself whether I, in any just term, am a find to love the more. I would not follow him then. Oh, sir, content you. I follow him to serve my turn upon him. We cannot all be masters. Not all masters cannot be truly followed. You shall mark many a duteous and knee crooking knave that doting on his own obsequious bondage wears out his time much like his master's ass for naught but provender and when he's old cashiered. Witness such honest knaves, others, there are who, trimmed in forms and visages of duty, keep yet their hearts attending on themselves, and throwing but shows of service on their lords, do well thrive by them, and when they have lined their coats, do themselves homage. These fellows have some soul, and such a one do I profess myself. For, sir, it is as sure as you are, Roderico, were I the more I would not be Iago, in following him, I follow but myself. Heaven is my judge, not I for love and duty, but seeming so for my peculiar end. For when my outward action does demonstrate the native act and figure of my heart, in compliment extern, tis not long after. But I will wear my heart upon my sleeve for those to peck at. I am not what I am. What a full fortune does the thick lips owe if he can carry thus. Call up her father, rouse him, make after him, poison his delight, proclaim him in the streets, incense her kinsman, and though he be in a fertile climate dwell, plague him with flies. Though that his joy be joy, yet throw such changes of vexation on it, as it may lose some color. Here's her father's house. I'll call aloud. Do, 
with like timorous accent and dire yell as when by night and negligence the fire is spied in populous cities. What? Ho! Brabantio! Signor Brabantio! Ho! Awake! What ho! Brabantio! Thieves! 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 Look to your house, your daughter, and your bags! Thieves! Thieves! What is the reason of this terrible summons? What is the matter there? Signor, is all your family within? Are your doors locked? Why, wherefore you ask this? Zounds, sir, you are robbed for shame. Put on your gown. Your heart is burst. You have lost half your soul. Even now, now, very now, an old black ram is topping your white you. Arise, arise, awake the snorting citizens with the bell, or else the devil will make a grandsire of you. Arise, I say. What? Have you lost your wits? Most reverend signor, do you know my voice? Not I. What are you? My name is Rodrigo. The worse are welcome. I have charged thee not to haunt about my doors. In honest plainness thou hast heard me say, My daughter is not for thee. And now, in madness, being full of supper and distempering drafts, upon malicious bravery dost thou come to start my quiet. Sir! 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 But thou must needs be sure my spirit and my place have in them power to make this bitter to thee. Patience, good sir! What tellst thou me of robbing? This is Venice! My house is not a grange! Most grave Brabantino, in simple and pure soul I come to you. Zounds! Sir! You are one of those who will not serve God if the devil bids you! Because we come to do you service, and you think we are ruffians, you will have your daughter covered in a Barbary horse. Your nephews will nag to you. You'll have coursers for cousins, and genets for Germans. What profane wretch art thou? I am one, sir, that comes to tell you your daughter and the moor are making the beast with two backs. Thou art a villain. You are... a senator. This thou shalt answer. I know you, Rodrigo. Sir, I will answer anything, but I beseech you. If it be your pleasure and most wise consent, as partly I find it is, your fair daughter, on this odd, even dull watch of night, transported with no worse nor better guard, but with a knave of common hire, a gondolier to the gross clasps of a lascivious moor. Mas, se desconheceis o que se passa, ensine-me o costume que não tendes razão de censurar-nos desse modo. Não creais que tão falho me revele de cortesia para vir agora zombar de vossa grande reverência? Vossa filha, de novo vos declaro, se não lhe deste permissão, Muito grave pecado cometeu, unindo o espírito à beleza, o dever seus haveres a um estrangeiro andejo e desgarrado daqui de toda parte. Convencei-vos neste momento, se no quarto dela fordes achá-la ou mesmo em toda a casa, entregai-me a justiça da república por vos ter enganado desse modo. Strike on the tinder, oh! Give me a taper, call up my people. This accident is not unlike my dream. Belief of it oppresses me already. Light, I say. Light! Adios. 
pues debo dejarlos. No me parece conveniente ni conforme con el puesto que ocupo se llamado en justicia, como sucederá si me quedo a deponer contra el muro. For I do know the state, however this may gall him with some check, cannot with safety cast him, for he is embarked with such loud reason to the Cyprus wars, which even now stand and act that for their souls, another of his fathom they have none to lead their business. In which regard, though I do hate him as I do hell pains. Yet, for necessity of present life, I must show out a flag and sign of love, which is indeed but sign, that you shall surely find him lead to the Sagittary the raised search, and there will I be with him. So, farewell. It is too true and evil. Gone she is, and what's to come of my despised time is not but bitterness. Now, Rodrigo. Where didst thou see her? Oh, unhappy girl, with the more sayest thou, oh, who would be a father? How didst thou know it was she? Oh, she deceives me, past thought. What says she to you? Get more tapers, raise all my kindred. Are they married, think you? Oh, heaven, how got she out? Oh, treason of the blood. Fathers, from hence trust not your daughter's minds by what you see them act. Is there not some charms by which the property of maidhood may be subdued? Have you not read, Rodrigo, of some such thing? Call up my brother. Oh, would you had had her some one way, some another. Do you know where we may apprehend her and the more? Pray you lead on at every house I'll call. I may command at most. Get weapons, ho! Oh. And raise some special officers of the night. On, good Rodrigo. I'll deserve your pains. <laughs> <laughs>